Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my studio. Today we unbox this package from Okay, from Vallejo. I've been using Vallejo for so long, even before I got sponsored, maybe around 20 years ago or more than 20 years ago. Because I used to like buy a few, a handful of paints and use them on my Lord of the Rings action figures. So I have these stencils already. I have a few of this, I mean, and these are, I guess, new designs because I don't have this specific designs yet except for the radioactive one. These are awesome because they're not made of metal so they're very flexible and very easy to wash. It says in the packaging that you could use these stencils even for brush painting but I haven't really tried that yet but I've used these stencils a few times with the airbrush and of course it works really well. Maybe I'll do a couple of videos using the stencils here on my channel soon. We'll definitely use the stencils for official Vallejo color videos very soon. The, the stuff here in the package are like actually my requests last year. And like for example, this face painting. This is done, the step by step was done by Jaume Ortiz. He's the head of our figure and like historical figure painting and figure painting in general he's really really good and i'd like to read the step by step the hobby tools on the other hand like the Vallejo hobby tools i think these were relaunched last year maybe around summer here in the philippines but i'm like the farthest away from all the Vallejo painters because Three of the Vallejo, official Vallejo painters, or four or five, are mostly from Spain. And Pablo, I think, from Chile or Argentina. And me from the Philippines. So I could be the farthest. I'm not sure who is farther than me and Pablo. So basically, there are five heads in terms of the Vallejo painters. The head for miniature painting and fantasy is, of course, Angel Heraldes. And for airplanes, model kits, the, the, the planes and stuff, that would be Pablo Albornoz. And for historical and figure painting, that would be Jaume Ortiz. And the head for military and like civil stuff would be Chema Cabrero. And of course me for mecha and sci-fi. I'm pretty sure all these tools are awesome because I have the drill bits. They're not brittle and like, well, anyway, they're not brittle and they're awesome. It's a good investment. The nippers are wire photo etch cutters so they, will, they don't wear down and like the single blade stuff. And of course, the other tools, the diamond file and all that stuff should last me for years. I'll be doing a series of videos for the Vallejo channel, YouTube channel soon using these tools. Wood black and white. This is going to be awesome because I am about to paint something with these colors. This was done by Angel Heraldes. Again, he's the head of fantasy and miniature painting for Vallejo. And he did the step-by-step. -step. So I'm really looking forward to reading the step-by-step. -step. Sorry guys, I can't show you the step-by-step -step manual. You have to buy the set. <laughs> Finally, I have the art knife. I saw this at Neutral Grounds, but I refrained from buying it because I was about to get this package. Also, the drill bit, I highly recommend them. I have the one with the orange case. The only problem with this set is that the cases are hard to open, but they're not brittle and will last you for years. Now, this one is funny because it's the basic Vallejo color, model color set. I just want this set just for the sake of having it. Now, this camo set, I haven't painted a military figure in more than 20 years because I painted like a handful when I was really young before my Lord of the Ring days. And I think I saw that figure and it's so ugly. Anyways, I was so young back then 
and I haven't painted a 1 is to 35 historical like scale model yet and I'll use this set soon now this set is awesome I just read the step by step before like editing or before doing the voice over this video and I like it so much and the colors are perfect for the exact like weathering you see here in the package you may have the actual colors already especially for me i have some or maybe all of the colors in all these sets but the step by steps are really awesome oh now we have a few vallejo premium vallejo premium is my go-to paints before the mecha colors came out in the market because they're really awesome they're polyurethane they're very easy to airbrush and they're kind of durable I say kinda durable because I feel that the mecha colors are more durable than the premium paints. I'm not sure though but both paints are awesome. I only requested a few mecha colors because I do have a lot of them and I, I, I have a lot of them because I'm the head of mecha and sci-fi for Vallejo more flat brushes i'm so happy that this was or this were in the package or in the box because i will use this for more dry brushing and the roosters are very happy too now you see a few more mecha these are mecha primers white primer this is kind of tricky to airbrush you have to thin it less like maybe around three to four parts primer and one part thinning sauce and this box made me the happiest this is the mecha black primer this is the best ever primer ever ever because it's super durable and it's so easy to airbrush I ran out of the black, the Mecha Black Primer for almost a year now because I use it a lot but it's super awesome. I've been using the Surface Primer which is great. I'm used to using that also but the Mecha Primers, they're super durable. Oh and of course the varnishes are crazy durable too. So if you want durable paint jobs, use Mecha Primer and then use Mecha Varnishes kind of curious though because majority of my subs are now miniature painters so who amongst you have used the mecha paints or mecha primers i was a part of testing this mecha paints three years prior to its release in the market and it has been around five years already and i think they're the easiest to airbrush I'm really happy with this package. It has all the tools and materials that I need for both my YouTube channel and for the official Vallejo channel. The paint sets I'm going to use as soon as I can but again I'm, I apologize because I can't really share the step by step. You really have to buy the sets. Oh shameless plug, I'm going to have a handful of sets myself. I think it's almost done. It's just a matter of when will it be released in the market. We'll definitely request my own sets once those come out in the market. I can't confirm this but even if I know, I can't really say it. But I feel that the paints kind of became more durable, even the model colors, for a couple of years now. They, they, they seem to be more durable than how they were like 8 or 10 years ago. However, I think we will never know because Vallejo is not the type of brand that would like announce that the paints are now 5th generation or 10th generation already. So we will never know. Now with the tools. The tools, I opened them already before I did the voiceover and they're awesome. The only reason or like the only weird thing is that they don't have Vallejo logos. So when I use them on my videos, I have to like maybe put a small subtitle that the tools are from Vallejo. I'm super happy with this tool, especially the nipper, the drill bits and like the pin vise because... 
I mean, this should be quality tools and are not brittle that easily damage. The pin vise is extra awesome. It has four heads, like four different sizes for different drill bit sizes. The pin vise is even better in terms of the design than my old Tamiya pin vise. So this pin vise will last me for years. Also, again, the drill bits are very awesome. I have the one with the orange case and I've been using it a lot because when I'm doing gunpla, I do a lot of holes and they're not brittle unlike the fancy stuff that you see these days, which are so brittle and break so easy. That's it. We're done. I hope you liked the video. Do like, comment, subscribe and consider joining the channel so that you'll be part of our Discord community. Saludos!